Hey, it's Eric from Stinger. Today we're going to walk you through the process of updating your Hyten with the latest firmware. To start, visit our new website, stingersolutions.com. If you scroll to the bottom of the homepage, you'll find a link that says product information. Then on the next page, simply click the top link that says Hyten Media Player. Now select the tab that says New Firmware. If your Hyten is installed in a 2011 to 2018 Jeep Wrangler JK with one of our integrated solutions, click this first link to download your firmware. Any other Hyten installation, including Universal, Integrated Jeep Wrangler JL, Gladiator JT, Ram, Tacoma, Tundra, or other installations, click the second link to download your firmware. Open your Downloads folder on your computer, navigate to your file browser, and plug in a blank USB thumb drive. Then select Format from the menu, and click OK. This will erase all the information on the thumb drive. Once the thumb drive is empty, you can copy the firmware file to the thumb drive without unzipping it. Then, take the thumb drive to your vehicle and insert it into one of the USB ports that's connected to your Hyten. You'll notice that the USB icon on the screen will become colored. Touch the Settings icon, then System Settings. Then by Installer Settings, touch Enter. Then type 0052 and hit OK. Then where you see System Update, touch the Update icon. We've sped up the footage for the process of this video. The actual process takes several minutes. During this time, status bars will appear on the screen and cross to 100%. The Hyten will turn itself off and back on a few times. Once you see a red status bar that says, making quick boot image, this is the last time that your head unit will restart during this process. Once the Hyten turns off and back on again, your firmware is now updated. Then press the home button, then settings, and system settings. And where it says load defaults, touch the reset icon, then touch continue. This will load the default settings to your Hyten. We recommend completing this process after doing a firmware update. Now you can remove your USB thumb drive and start enjoying your new features.